So, Batgirl and Static Shock reportedly going to HBO Max. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, you know what? I, I actually don't have a problem with this because these these are uh, riskier titles, okay? Um, and they're going to supposedly tie in with the cinematic universe. Yeah. So uh, I, I don't have a problem with, with them necessarily doing, because I wanted a Static Shock movie for a long time. Batgirl's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that too. But, uh, you know, I, I'm really, really excited to see Static Shock. Um, you want to start, Steph? Or... Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, I'm not surprised that it's going directly to HBO Max just because of the state of the world at the moment. Um, with the virus and pretty much, I mean, I don't know what's going on with your area, but with us, our country's in lockdown and no cinemas are open. They haven't been open really for months. Um, I think that if it was any other time period, I would actually be more happier for Batgirl and Static Shock actually to have their own movie, Mm -hmm. their own film. I think that would be epic. To say that, oh, um, it's riskier, so fair enough, let it go to HBO Max. Well, Marvel have taken risky choices. I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, a lesser known, very niche kind of corner in the Marvel comic book uh, universe. And now they're one of the most popular characters within Marvel. So it can be done. uh, But I think that yeah in this instance they have no choice it's just got to go straight to hbo max well and plus you you have to factor in unfortunately that there is a built-in bias when it comes to dc yeah um i on it i i i said this before uh to somebody else but if wonder woman 84 came out and it said marvel studios presents wonder woman 84 the movie would have done gangbusters because Regardless of like if you fall more on uh, Team uh, Marvel or or Team DC, Wonder Woman eighty four was so much better than Captain Marvel, and Captain Marvel grossed a billion dollars. So if it would have said you know Marvel Studios presents Wonder Woman eighty four, it would have grossed all the monies in the world. Just because of the DC bias. Because the DC you're saying, bias. So you're saying that would that would affect, like if these two were films, you think that would affect the films coming out? Is that what you're saying? I think like so. The, uh, okay. Yeah, be, because if Batgirl, because see, they're lesser known pro, uh, properties. And so. I get it. You know, I will say this though. I mean, Aquaman mm, made a billion. It did. Yeah. Joker, but, Joker made a billion. So, I mean, I, I don't think. Well, well, the, the, you, you can't compare, I don't think, Joker to Aquaman because Joker has been the nemesis of Batman for 80 years, right? You mean there's like a lesser known character compared to like Batgirl and um and Static Shock? Is that what you're saying? Or yeah, yeah like well Joker is Batgirl has a very important story tied to the Joker. She does. She does. Uh... She does, but I don't know. I think it's a smart move to take it. I would love now don't get me wrong. I, I would prefer to see all of these movies in a theater. Yeah. Um but I think you know there maybe playing it safe uh to like take lesser known character now i guess you can't really say batgirl is a lesser known character yeah i, I wouldn't call her a lesser static known shock character. okay you 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 could say he's a lesser known character even still which he really shouldn't be i think now honestly because of the time period of that cartoon being out i think now is the perfect time for him to be in live action i, think I agree it's like, yeah. i think the people yeah. that love that cartoon are going to really support this, yeah. this, this in live action um, the only thing I will say about about a TV show versus a movie in regards to like these properties is there's an upside to a TV show. You get more time with the character, so you get to tell a bigger story, I think, mm-hmm. or a longer story. You get to dive into the smaller moments. You don't always get that that with the movies. But I think, in my opinion, I think a Batgirl movie done right would be a billion-dollar movie, personally. Um, I don't know if yeah. Static Shock would be a billion dollar movie, but I think if it, if it had the right people tied to it, maybe the right story, it could. But financially and the state of the world, if we're going to get them and this is the only way they can release them, I'm totally okay with this. I, well, I think it'll work. Also, we have to consider coming back out on the other end of the pandemic, Eric. Um, the budgets are going to have to be a lot smaller, right? I mean, I think so. Yeah, I think we'll see more medium sized budgets for a while. You know, we're going to have to start seeing like uh, uh, budgets around 
the uh like uh the joker budget you know you I don't, think, I don't think disney's gonna pull back much so i think we're still gonna have these big movies i agree inject a lot of money into the big movies but i, I think you could make a, a legit batgirl movie for 70 million like they made joker but here's the thing though and i agree with you on that but here's the thing with these with these hbo max shows and this is why the disney plus shows are so good is that um if they're tied with that universe they can show up in the film side yes so we could get a batgirl movie you know what i mean we oh yeah yeah i mean these this around. these are going to be full-length movies just on yeah. hbo max and so they're going to tie into the cinematic universe and we're going to you know there's potential to see them you know, pop up in yeah, like, I mean, a, like in a group movie, you could see the bat the absolutely. Batgirl movie from the sh- from the HBO max move into like a, mm-hmm. like a justice league movie or a Batman movie. And her sequel like might go straight to theaters. It you could. Know? Yeah, absolutely. Or theaters with a limited release on HBO max. Exactly. So and and maybe, maybe they'll, they'll do these like they're doing right now with wonder woman 84. Maybe they'll do HBO max with a limited run in the theater as well. You know, who knows? Yeah. You miss um I don't know, um underestimate maybe static shock uh being a film and being just as successful. Um static shock could be for DC what Black Panther is for. That's now. true. That's absolutely You're true. absolutely right. You're yeah, absolutely that's what I right. I don't know if it would do a billion, but we could be surprised because I think that the fans, this is the perfect time. If you were a fan of the static shock cartoon, right now, honestly, this is the perfect time to release the static shock movie. So I agree. I, I love Static Shock, man. I I, I am I'm still reeling, uh, the f- uh, from the fact that DC Universe is no longer available on my Roku device. Oh and- my god, I was so mad about that when I went to <laughs> click on it. I was. Ugh. I mean, this means nothing to me, guys. I know. I, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's a, it's a little purple box that says this is no longer available. And I'm like, they started moving like, so they moved Batman, the animated series and uh, Batman beyond over to HBO max. They're, they're moving. They're starting to move all of the, 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 um, the DC animated stuff over uh, slowly. Uh, but man, uh, you know, HBO max knocks me off because it's not available. I know. I know. America. I, I ah, wish, why? I wish I could share it with you. Like if you had a VPN or something, I, I would totally, totally the give you my I login. Miss about DC oh, universe is the you. comic books because I read all my comics on that service. So I hope that they, the, they, they are, they're keeping it for the comic books. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And so, you know, I, I, I have a tablet, uh, that's about like this size and I'm going to just read all my, all my comic books on that. <laughs> So, but, but, uh, Steph, so you made a good point though. Static shot could be the, their answer to the black Panther movie. I think. Yeah. And I, and and you, and and you say you'd be surprised. I, I, I would say if they did it as a movie, a -hmm. film standalone, like the Joker doing it that way instead, um, that's when they'll make the billion. Oh, so you, you, you're saying grounded in reality and not so. Okay. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Do it that way uh that's that's gonna be where i think it'll just make it so well, here's a question do you think static shock is gonna be like the kid static shock or are they gonna do like an adult version of them? i hope they do an adult version uh they would have to, I, I, as much as I, w- I would love to see virgil in high school again um mm-hmm. i feel like in this the way that uh if dc once wins i think they're gonna have to do an adult Virgil uh, static because we've all, we've already got Shazam, which is kind of kitty <laughs> smiling. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we, we, we've got, we've got to have an adult at least, at least like a, a like an older teenager static, mm-hmm. you, you know, uh, somebody maybe like 18, 19 years old, something like that. Um, and you know, Either way, I'm going to be happy because I, I love I love that cartoon, man. It was, I mean, what was the spinoff? It was a Z- Zeta project back in the day. I oh, mean, gosh, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there there was so much goodness in the crossover, like when Batman, you know, with Batman and what have you. Mm-hmm. Uh, the DC animated universe is just the crown jewel of everything. Uh, you know what? I've, I've said this for years that, that, that there's no, like other than the X-Men cartoon from the 90s, Marvel has nothing on DC. No, their movies are their animated features. I can't be the only person that has said that DC's animated movies have some of the best writers. They should just have them write the films. Like it's right. 
right. I mean, just pull pull over everybody who who's ever worked on the classic DC animated universe, starting with yeah. Batman the animated series, the Justice League cartoon. You yes, write movies based on one episode of those cartoons. Dude, it's crazy. dude, you had what like three seasons, three or four seasons between Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, and you know they got everything right. So. Mm-hmm. Hire those people to write a Justice I'm League movie. for a Batman Beyond live action. Let's make it happen now. I want that. I think Batman Beyond live action. I I, I will. I I think that's uh, actually what what's going to end up happening. To be honest yeah. with you, I I really really get do. Terry on screen. Let's see him on screen. I want to see him with the suit and everything. I I really do want to see Terry. I, I want, you know, with, with everything that's been saying about Keaton, whether or not he's going to be the uh, the prime Batman, or uh, you know, I've heard rumors either way. You know, but uh, if they do a Batman Beyond version with uh, Keaton, mm. I, I, I mean, you can have my money now. It would work. Like, why wouldn't they do that? It would be such a perfect transition. I mean, it's, thir- it's 30 oh. years. It's 30 years now. You know, I mean, it's he's the perfect age. You know, he, I mean, what, what, why else are you going to bring him back? Why else? I my, did- my, my dream live action Batman movie, Asylum Arkham. Yes, that would be the freaking dream. That would be fantastic. Like that. I would and love an animated flashback. Rated, 18 rated, just go all out, go, no, what's it whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be great. That would be That's great. I would love that. I'd love a Flashpoint Paradox movie. That would be great, too. Like, a, like, a, like the animated Flashpoint Paradox, not the one that they're thinking about doing with. Uh, with the film it, like if you go if you watch that flashpoint paradox movie which is my favorite animated dc movie you don't have to know anything it's no. all contained in that one it's all story. there it's all there they did a great job on it but we'll see i'm hoping that this flashpoint paradox movie um clears up some of the mess in the dcu so we'll see what happens with that i hope so because if it doesn't i mean we might as well just <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, like gas it up and light it on fire, man. Yeah. Uh, because if, if flashpoint, I mean, not, I, I say this, you know, um, it breaks my heart to say this, but if flashpoint does not get them on the right point, then, then somebody needs to buy DC from, from, uh, AT&T and it can't be Disney. Right. You know, no, 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 I wouldn't want to have Disney with uh with these characters necessarily. So and the monopoly laws that would um, yeah, I think so. Not that from happening anyway. You're probably right. You're probably right. But I mean, I don't mind someone else having a chance. I just don't think that Disney um is the best fit. So I mean, you know, we we, we could we could do we we could do who is it we we could do paramount we we could do sony sony i mean i i know they're they're busy with their with their spider spider-man stuff but i think they would let go of spider-man if they got the dc oh i do too if if you offered them every single character of dc and they'd be like here marvel we'll sell you back spider-man for such and such amount because we've got dc to play in now because outside of financially um uh, Sony wouldn't need Spider-Man no more. like they don't if they had all the DC characters if they if they had DC oh, pff, no they, they wouldn't need Spider-Man <laughs> uh, Terrence says breaking news Terrence is going to take over DC I'll make everything I'll make everything right <laughs> I bet you would <laughs> uh, yeah not for not, DC and Disney uh, to Kitty yeah I like I, I, I like how it's D- funny you say that but then we had the Harley Quinn movie I mean that movie was pretty, <sighs> pretty kitty as well. How so. how how can how can people say Wonder Woman eighty four is the worst DC? It's uh, not the worst. <laughs> I know they say nah. the DC, the worst DC extended universe movie when there's Harley Quinn. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Another one popular opinion: Batman v Superman for me is the worst, even worse. I can see that than Harley Quinn. Even worse. I I could I can see that I can see that I mean I've argued about that before I think if you're gonna watch Batman v Superman you have to invest that three hours in that director's cut that's the only one that really works and even then it's mm-hmm. not great so and and even in that director's cut Superman still dies in his second appearance <laughs> so but, dudes it's called Batman v Superman and we don't get any Batman v Superman until literally like fucking two hours in the film and yeah. then it's only like five minutes and then and they're then friends, friends again, again. yeah. 
<laughs> because the climax to the original Batman v Superman comic was not what happened in that film. That was completely really different thing. So. Uh, and then, yeah. then you had then you had Batman saying, "I failed him in life. I won't fail him in death." You know, I mean, it's like what? what? And no, <laughs> no, no. I mean, the, there were so many plot holes all over. Like, yeah. Um, that's a, we could do a whole podcast on that. I think. Probably. Yeah, we, we probably. could. <laughs> we, we we could we could. But uh, yeah, that that was the last topic. Batgirl and Static okay. Shot going going to HBO Max, and uh, cool. you know I I'm looking forward to uh, you know any any DC show uh, coming around. And mm-hmm. uh, man, e- even if they want to revive Swamp Thing, man, I'm all for it. I think Swamp Thing was a really good show. Um, there, there's a yeah. lot of behind the scenes drama with that show. So yeah, the which little... is usually the case. We lose good shows. It's because something was mismanaged behind the scenes, and that's unfortunate. So. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, oh. By the way, um, I'm gonna start doing um, uh, watch parties from the for the Arrowverse. So if you guys are interested, um, let me know. Okay. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to start from the beginning and and work my way through. Okay, well, I mean, just uh, just let me know when they are. Like, if you're going to like pick a time or whatever, I'm totally down. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm 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 going to start with the Flash. I think uh, tomorrow, season one, episode okay. one. All but, right. Yeah. All right. Well, t- hit me up on Twitter or hit us up in our group chat. Cool. So. Yeah. Cool. Definitely will. All right. Unless you guys have anything else to add, uh, anything else that's been off my radar. Um, do you guys have anything else? No, I think we're good. I think there, I mean, there's other stuff out there, but, but it's nothing we have to talk about this week. We can wait until yeah. next time. Talk about it. All right, cool. Well, yeah, cool. Guys, we we still have uh like a lot of people here. Thank you guys for being in the uh the chat. The chat's been really active today. Mm-hmm. It's been it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys for being here. Uh thank you for for tuning in. Uh Steph, Eric, thank you for being here. You know, after our holiday hiatus. Um oh, we got let's see. Um Tony says what Arrowverse shows you guys think will come back strong. Oh, ooh. Wait, Steph doesn't really watch the Arrowverse, do you? You said you don't watch no. the shows. Yeah. I've never I've never um CW, that kind of thing is not really yeah. that big, big over here. It's it's more like a niche kind of corner over yeah. here. Sure. And it's, um, it's becoming that way here now because they're going so soap opery. Yeah. yeah. So I would say um the ones that'll come back strong. I think Batwoman has a chance to come back strong because they're changing the the style of the show. Um it could be a dumpster fire. Could I'm be. not going to say it's going to be good, but they have an opportunity mm-hmm. to. And I think Flash uh, left on a really strong cliffhanger last season. So those are the two that I'm probably looking forward to, but we'll see. Um, Man, the only one I'm really looking forward to is technically not even part of the Arrowverse. And it's Stargirl. Which one? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people are. A lot of people looking forward to that. I think that's going to be good too. Because I, I think, I think uh, last season, I think it will get tied into the Arrowverse though. Uh, man, I wish that they would just put that on HBO and 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 not put it in the CW's hands. Well, the, but yeah, go but, ahead, I, saying it. Yeah. but I mean, I understand the creative control is still the same people. You know that. Yeah. You know, so I'm not I'm not worried about it. But um, <laughs> uh, as far as the Flash Man, it, it just the mirror mirror master was trash. Um, you know, that, uh, uh, blood work, uh, is, was it, was that the name blood work in the first part of the season? Yeah. 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 That would have been far more interesting than what they did with mirror master, but well, there's um, a rumor that he's coming back, which is why I'm looking forward to, um, to the next season. Mirror master is supposed to wrap up in the first two episodes. So I hope so. I hope so. And then we have, then we have this super Superman and Lois hype. Mm-hmm. Superman is my favorite comic book of all time, and I just don't think they're going to do him justice in that. I, I I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it, but I don't have high hopes. I don't have high hopes. There's an opinion. The only reason that show is happening is because Supergirl announced that they're ending their show after the season coming up. I think so. I think you're right. Uh, Terrence says, Sean, they think they can fix Bat Batwoman with a tokenized Batwoman. I can't take that anymore. Yeah, Terrence, I understand, man. I understand. You know, they had to release a comic book uh, before the first season came or the second season came out to make sure that people wouldn't complain that this was not a comic book character. So we'll see. 
we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to go into it, you know, uh, and give it an honest try. And, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff that's come out about Ruby Rose about being hard to work with lately. Mm. Um, I don't think Ruby Rose ever really. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't think Ruby Rose ever committed to that role. Um, there's a rumor that she went into it thinking it was a movie and not a TV show. And when she found out it was a show, she found out she had to dedicate. Yeah. Apparently her agent pitched it as a movie to her. She thought she was going to be in a Batwoman movie. Cause typically Ruby Rose is like a movie star. Like she does movies. So it was kind of weird when, when I heard she was cast for the show, I was like, wait a minute, what? And so apparently there was a rumor again, it's just rumor, but they said, um, that she thought it was going to be a movie. And then she complained about having to be stuck in Vancouver for seven months of the year or something like that. It was weird. I don't know. And, and then there was a whole insurance. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Allegedly she hurt herself on like a yeah. movie. Then she had like the CW pay for it. And you know, yeah, we could have had a really good Kate Kane that would have stuck around, but I think they just miscast. Uh, that, yeah. That character, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but we'll end it on that, guys. Thank you so much for being here. This has been a great episode back. It was a lot, with a lot of fun. A lot mm-hmm. of fun. Uh, guys, if you ever want to have me on your channel, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, my schedule is pretty clear. Uh, I'd love to talk to you over there. And uh, until next time, guys, that is Steph. That is Eric. I'm Sean. This has been Talk Nerdy to Me, Episode 3. And uh, until next time, guys, take care. This is me hugging you over the airwaves. Mm. 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 <laughs> you feel that? All right. We are clear, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there that was so much to talk about. always makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Uh, that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad we're back. Yeah. Me too. I um, it. Yeah, I was gonna say we could. Our topics were one of those things where we could have done a whole show on every topic. Oh my so god, big, all the topics were so big. Um, so, but are are we back to a normal weekly thing now? Is it going to be yes uh, every Friday until unless something comes up or whatever? Yeah, yeah. If that's cool with you guys, that that is yeah. my plan. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure. Awesome. Um. So, but yeah, hit me up on in our little group chat with the time and 